You think that after two years of traveling through mountains and hiking through deserts at night to get this girl to notice you, you had achieved your goal when she sent you a message encoded in the three-dimensional co- coordinate of the arrow inside this ball. However, this is not a regular ball. This is a quantum ball, and quantum balls have the special property that you actually don't know where this arrow points. Does that mean all hope is lost? Does that mean that you will never be able to retrieve this message that you spent two years searching for? Well, actually, luckily, you can retrieve the message with the help of your two friends, Jenny and Mrs. Discret. Jenny, just like all five-year-olds, has his own quirk, and Jenny's quirk is that he spits out random qubits. And I don't like the word qubits. Actually, let's call them what they are: balls with unknown arrows. Mrs. Discret, when presented with a ball with an unknown arrow, she will classify it as whether it's the mystery oracle that you have, or if it's one that Jenny has spat out. How can these two help you? By putting them to war. First off, Mrs. Discret. Will gear up, get the best magnifying glasses, read up on all the latest tools and tricks, and learn to classify these balls accurately as real or fake. But Jenny, not wanting to be outdone, it is his turn to gear up now. He will plan, he will read, he will study, he will try, and he will fail, and he will try, and he will fail again, and then he will keep trying until one day he discovers how to make a ball that Mrs. Discret classifies wrongly, and Mrs. Discret will now. Gear up again, level up her skills to classify more accurately. Then Jenny will level up his accuracy to full, and then they will keep.、Um, Mrs. Discret will keep leveling up. Jenny will keep leveling up until will there ever be an end? Will this war go on forever? Each one、um, outpacing the next, or will one of them win? And actually, there is a definite answer. And take a guess. Will Jenny prove to the world that kids are phenomenal? Kids are smarter than adults give them credit for. Or will Mrs. Discret prove that being older really does equate being wiser? Well, take a guess. There is a definite answer. And while you think about it, I will give you a crash course on quantum circuits. So, what if we were to change Jenny's function into a quantum circuit? This is what it will look like. That doesn't make sense. Well. Balls with unknown arrows change over time, and to represent this change, we use a wire. This means that every time you see a wire, this wire equates to one ball with unknown arrows. And so, back to this.、Um, so here we have three balls with unknown arrows represented by the three wires, and each of、um, and at the core, every human is a is a series of tunable knobs. Like when Jenny is happy, he will act one way, and he will spit out one type of ball with unknown arrow. And when Jenny is sad, he will spit out a different type, right? And our goal is that we will take these knobs, we will find the optimal combination of knobs that will output the ball with unknown arrow that tricks Mrs. Discret, and we will find this optimal combination of knobs using something such as gradient descent. Hence, putting machine learning into quantum machine learning. Mrs. Discret will、um, her quantum circuit will take in the ball with unknown arrow that Jenny spat out and. Depending on what her knobs are, she will either classify as classify it as fake or real. And our goal is、um, to find the optimal combination of knobs for her to classify it correctly. More quantum machine learning, right? And putting this, these two together, we get Jenny spitting out a ball with unknown arrow that Mrs. Discret takes in, and she outputs a guess whether it's fake or not. And then we just read this guess, and we do the same with. The mystery、um, qubit, a mystery ball with unknown arrow, and so we will take these two circuits, Mrs. Discret,、um, Mrs. Discret, often adjusting her balls with、uh, her tunable knobs to guess correctly、um, whether it's Jenny or Mrs. Discret or the mystery、uh, ball, and then Jenny will output, hit, will adjust his tunable knobs to、um, be able to fool her, and this war. Well, this goes back to our original question, right? Will this war go on forever, or will one of them win? And there actually is a definite answer, and the answer is that 
Jenny will always win. And here's why. The only time this battle will ever end is when Mrs. Discret uh, it, it cannot tell the difference anymore. And that will happen when Jenny, um, the ball that Jenny spits out becomes equal to the ball, to the, this mystery ball. When these two balls are equal, Mrs. Discret cannot classify what is real and what is fake because they're the same. And at this point, this, this battle will, will end. And, um, yeah, you can't, in this end. But what's important is that now, um, Jenny has, it can spit out a ball that is equal to the mystery ball every time. And I have ran this, um, ran this code and this is my result. You can see that the generated, um, arrow coordinates are equal, are mimicking the real arrow coordinates, even though Jenny has no idea what the real coordinates are. And this is the power of quantum generative neural networks, uh, generative adversal neural networks. And, um, but most importantly, now you got Jenny to spit out a ball that that is the same as the mystery ball, and you are able to decode the message because you got Jenny spitting out this exact same ball every time. And most importantly, you have proven to your girlfriend you are smart enough to know quantum machine learning and you have won her love forever. Thank you.